Hello everyone. In this session, I'm going to show you how to open your MS data, display and visualize the contents with MNOVA MS version 12. First, using the data browser, drag and drop this data set to the main window. By default, the total ion current is displayed at the top and the mass spectrum plot from the highest peak at the bottom. We have many display tools here on this toolbar. For instance, we can zoom in in any selected region, either on the TIC chromatogram or the mass spectra plot. You can zoom out, display the full spectrum again, add an expanded region to your TIC data, Change the peak intensity scale just by using the mouse wheel or by clicking on the icons in the side toolbar. You can use the fit to the highest intensity tool to fit the highest peak into the Y dimension. Use the crosshair tool which is equivalent to the icon displayed on the main toolbar at the top. With this tool you can display the mass spectra of the selected points on your TIC as well as for selected mass range you may want to specify. If you want to display multiple mass spectra then go to the crosshair tool and select append mode. In this case you click on any point of your TIC data all mass spectra plots will be shown on the screen. For any of the plots you can change the location by right clicking the mouse on any of them and using any of the move up or move down tools. For instance, let's move this one up. You can also hide or delete any of the plots as you wish. Other components for this data set can be found using the Show Mass Browser tool. These will be displayed on the MS Browser panel. As you can see, you have positive MS and MSMS -MS traces, as well as negative MS trace. There are also several UV traces. If, for instance, you want to display the MSMS, -MS, double click and a window will display the new chromatogram options, such as total ion current, base peak, or mass chromatograms for a selected range as we've already displayed. This is equivalent to the selected button on the main toolbar. You can see the TIC for the MSMS -MS data and as we did earlier you can click on any points to show the MS fragmentation. Back to the MS browser panel you can use the boxes to turn on and off the display of the different traces. You can also highlight any of them and use a delete button to remove them from the display. In order to display the UV traces, just double click on any of them. If for instance you click on the DAD, a new window will appear, providing some further options such as the chromatogram type and the wavelength range. For instance, let's display wavelength at 254 nanometers with a tolerance of 0.5. Click OK and the PDA at 254 will be displayed. If you want to display the UV spectrum at certain points, you can press and hold the ALT key and click on any specific retention times to show these traces. Since this was just an example, you can easily go back to your MS browser panel and remove the selected boxes to tidy up the main window. You might have noticed that on the TIC and mass spectra, peaks are automatically integrated or picked. The results can be displayed on the mass peaks table, which you can find on the main toolbar. Depending on the selected part of the spectra, the mass peaks table gets automatically updated. With regard to the peak integration on the chromatogram, you can use the tool Chromatographic Peak Detection option Alternatively, you can manually change your peak integrals. For example, you can delete any peak detection and also add some more peaks. 
You can also change the integration manually. For example, on this peak, by pressing and holding the Shift key and then drag it to the desired place. You can do the same for this other peak. The table is then automatically updated. You can sort the peaks by retention time or by any of the other entries in the table. If you click on Setup, you can also choose which parameters you want on the table, change the number of decimal places, etc. You can import this table, just click on the Report button and place the table where you wish. There's a way to extract the ion chromatogram graphically or manually. For instance, if you select the crosshair tool and select the mass spectrum of this peak, go to the MS trace and zoom in on the particular peak we are interested in, like this one at 438, then select the new chromatogram tool from the main toolbar and drag the desired area along the peak. Now you can see the extracted ion chromatogram correspondent to that mass range we have just selected. Or you can use the manual option entering the desired mass range, for instance 438.2, leaving the same tolerance value. This generates the new mass chromatogram with the specified range. To conclude this basic part of the MNOVA MS plugin description, just mention that any individual object selected from the main window can be copied into your preferred reporting system, PowerPoint, Word document, etc. You can save it as an MNOVA document or you can generate a PDF report using the export PDF option.